Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elise and this is where I share all the things about my life living in Switzerland. Um, you can now find me at my in-laws house, um, hence the big huge tree <laughs> behind me. Um, we are really excited to be spending the next few days here celebrating Christmas, but in the meantime, I've decided to share with you a few clips of some holiday goodness that we got up to. I didn't really have a plan when I was making this video. I just kind of took out my phone anytime we were doing something <laughs> remotely Christmassy. So um, it's turned into a great little compilation of just fun stuff at home and out and about, and I hope you all enjoy. <laughs> lunch of choice. We've got a mushroom and a ham, like grilled cheese on a baguette thing. Very exciting. We stopped for a crepe break and it's awesome because it comes on this like wafer and you just eat it with the wafer instead of having to fumble with a paper thing and then you don't create any waste except for me who needs 600 napkins because she gets honey all over her scarf the bus that the drummer drives. I had a little dinner with a bonfire. And it's so cute, I love these candles. A lot of such people will get their Christmas tree on Christmas Eve so it's still alive and then they put real candles in and I think it's so cute. So today we're having a lazy Sunday and I'm very excited to be making some Christmas cookies. Are you excited? Have the hubbind over here being shy. <laughs> But we're gonna make some cookies together and we are doing a mix of both of our favorites. So we're gonna do um, what my family calls tuttles, which are like Italian wedding cookies, I guess, which are delicious with a cup of coffee. Not so good on their own. They're kind of dry, but you know, we love our coffee anyway. So <laughs> they are just really nostalgic for me. And then we're doing, what are they called? Like it's like cinnamon glaze cookies. Hendrick's favorite, so we're going to do a mix of those. And then I think eventually we're going to make some haystacks, but we may wait till later in the week because it's only the, what is it, the 15th today. So Christmas is right around the corner, but we want to have some cookies to bring to actual Christmas at Hendrick's parents' house. So we're really excited to be spending our Sunday afternoon baking. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. He's not as excited as I am. Oops. The dough is quite crumbly, but it packs up well. And then we've got the little, my sous chef here. And it says in the recipe that you should dip the cookie cutter in sugar so that it doesn't like stick when you cut it out. 
And we're just enjoying a coffee. I think I might take a break to uh, open up my advent calendar here. Delicious. I changed my mind is not delicious. Cherry or something now. I think it's the cookies are gonna be delicious. What is that? Oh, Leben's cool cup praline. No, that can't be it. Cause I like praline. I have no idea. Not a fan. Oh. Ah. Hopefully the cookies are better than that chocolate. These came out so good. I'm really pleased with those. All right, these ain't looking too hot. I'll insert an inspo picture here of what they're supposed to look like. Oh my gosh. So we had to go with moons instead of stars because that was the only cookie cutter that we had. And you know, we're so original. Um, but yeah, I don't know, Hendrik tried one. They're not baked yet. He tried a little corner of one. They're apparently supposed to sit here and dry for six hours. And then you put the, them in the oven for five minutes. This is the weirdest recipe ever. Hello from a rainy and dreary Saturday before Christmas. I cannot believe we're actually out of the house right now. But I had some last minute Santa clausing to do because we ordered frames to give some hundreds family wedding photos of us printed out and like because I ordered the frames I just like checked it off in my mind but we had to actually go pick the frames up and print the photos and I was like oh crap Chris is in, in like 30 seconds I should probably get that done so um, I was really nervous the stars were gonna be crazy but they were actually fine and I just wish that this were actually snow instead of rain but apparently we've had Saharan winds sweeping their way up to Switzerland so it is not very cold at all but anyway we're home now we're gonna get these photos going wrapped up and I have to go to the store and find sesame seeds we're cooking something weird and it needs lots of ingredients that I can't find are you would think we we're going for a month all of these are empty iced tea bottles that our friend Luke hosted a conference at the university and Phil's sponsored them. So we're transporting the bottles for him to send back to the um, suppliers so they can use them again. And we have, let's see, two suitcases, ski gear. Oh my gosh, like the trunk is full. And we've got poor Oliver packed right in. This is food, presents. This is insane. This car is full. I've got the little baby. Hello. Are you ready for the journey? Oh, I don't want to show you upside down. Hello. Are you ready for the car ride? You're a good boy in the car, aren't you? Yes. I'm a very good boy in the car. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we still have two more bags to put in here of food. This is insane. And we're like crazy cat parents, so we're bringing his table leg scratch post. Wish us luck. <laughs> Hello, editing Elise here. I just put this whole video together and realized I didn't really film an outro. Uh, so I thought I'd hop on. This is my crap, um, like computer built in camera. Um, so it's not the highest quality. But I just want to say thanks if you made it this far in the video. I had a lot of fun looking back on what we've been up to the last couple weeks. We did have a lot of intentions to go and do more stuff and see more things. And we just decided to keep it simple this year. Um, it's been a bit of a weird Christmas for me. It's actually my third Christmas away from home, but somehow this year it's a little different. I'm really excited about the nutrition that I'm making with Hendrik, but I am 
feeling the homesickness. So if anyone in my family is watching, mwah, I love you. I'll be there next year. Um, and if you're just part of this YouTube family, I really, really appreciate you being here and watching what I'm putting out there. Um, I've got a lot of great stuff planned for the new year. But in the meantime, I'm going to get up to a bit of cooking and movie watching. I have included all the recipes to the cookies as well as what we are making for Christmas Eve tomorrow. Hendrik and I are in charge of the appetizers. So there's going to be a baked brie. There's going to be sausage bread bites. Very exciting stuff. So all of those will be down below including um, my Instagram handle which is where I'll be sharing a lot more content like on actual Christmas rather than vlogging it. Um, but anyway, yeah, thanks for being here. I really, really, really appreciate it. And um, I guess that's all. Merry Christmas. See ya.